Welcome back in as we continue honoring Hispanic Heritage Month. Today, we have a Latino-owned artisanal salsa business bringing the bold, authentic, and unapologetic flavors of Mexico in every bottle. Here to share more about their journey and to showcase their award-winning salsa, we have CEO of Kuali, Janine Cruz, and salsa maker, Rodrigo Cruz. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is so Thank fun. For Thanks for having yeah. us. Of course, we have so much to taste, but I want mm -hmm. to first hear your story about how this all got started. What what was it? How did well, you um, So I'm from Mexico City, born and raised, mm -hmm. and I remember cooking next to my mother. And always when I moved to the Bay Area, looking for something like more uh, artisanal, more uh, authentic flavors. Mm -hmm. And why not to kind of recreate my mother's recipe and the salsa, you know, I'll share with you. Mm -hmm. So Wonderful. for years, people suggested, like, you should sell, you mm -hmm. should sell. So eventually, during the pandemic, we decided to give this a try. Wow. We took to social media, Instagram, and we said, we're doing this. Who wants to buy? And that's how we started. Wonderful. I think that's so many people's stories. So <laughs> exactly. You had time, right. and it's like, why not? Why not try exactly. something new? We have a photo of someone here, so I have to ask, who is this? This is picture. my mother. Oh, Millie. wonderful. Yes. Millie's Millie is your Millie, name? that's her name. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love how we honor her. That is so, so cool. Um, tell me a little bit about what we've got on the table today. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited because this year we won the Good Food Awards. We were in Portland, I believe, yeah. in June to receive yeah. that award. And this, this? is for, exactly, yes. there's the medal. <laughs> it's for our classic salsa matcha. That's like our best seller. That's the star. So everything okay. from the sourcing of ingredients, the way that we operate mm -hmm. our business, um, the ethics behind what we do, that's why we receive that award. And it's also so what you're going to try today. Okay. Um, and then we also locally received a Best of the East Bay, Best Locally Made Food Product a couple, like a month ago. So mm -hmm. that's also very excited because Oakland and the Bay Area has been so supportive. Very cool. And I want to know how it felt when you received this award. Oh. I mean, what was the feeling for <laughs> amazing, you? Amazing, amazing. I think um, I never, we never expect, but the fact that, you know, we have amazing product uh, that you can pair with all kinds of food. And just to have the honor to, to recognize the, the brand and the flavor, I think it's pretty, pretty cool for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Good Food Awards was a national award. So it went through a blind tasting. There was like mm -hmm. 2,000 entries. Mm -hmm. So we were a little, when we got that email, we were like, oh, <laughs> oh my, my God, God, we won! <laughs> yeah, it's like unbelievable. Exactly. Wow, so exciting. Um, you said that the Bay has been very welcoming and, yeah. and very responsive to this. Can you go through that a little bit with me? How have they? How have people responded? Have people started reaching out like crazy that they want your salsa? How has it been? Exactly. So everything from like the pandemic Strangers showing up at, wow. then at our apartment, yeah. literally like every <laughs> exactly. Friday on the sidewalk. I would meet wow. strangers, hand over bottles of salsa mm -hmm. to stores reaching out saying, we want your product and everything from even like what we're featuring today, this amazing mm -hmm. sandwich from Ollie's, also another local store owner who wants to feature our product and support us in that way. Very cool. Mm -hmm. How fun for you guys. What a journey. I want to talk about the salsa specifically now. Yeah. Um, we have two different kinds here, yes. right? Yes. So what's the difference between these two? So we have the classic flavor. It's paired with pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds. It has a medium oh. heat, more smoky flavor, more profile on the smokiness. Uh, we have the second version. Um, it's made with peanuts and the blend of peppers. It's, it's a little bit more spicy. That is fantastic flavor. Ooh, yummy. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. And which part of Mexico is the recipe from? Mexico City. Mexico City. Yeah. Okay, so fabulous. Um, so we have a sandwich here we also. Do. Now, I think salsa, I think like chips. Right. Yeah. But you guys were saying that it, it pairs really well with all kinds of food. Okay. So what kind of food do we typically eat with this? So traditional pairings would be something like a pozole, a menudo, um, so like a fried egg in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But I also want to give people the idea of like what can you do at home and something perhaps a little bit more like American. Mm -hmm. uh, Ollie's is a cheese shop in downtown Oakland, and so she's been pairing it on this baguette sandwich. Ooh, so yeah. sometimes she'll do an aioli out of it. I think, I believe this one just has like the spread of the salsa itself. And so you, once you try it with like the meat and the cheese and another aioli that it has today, it just makes sense. Also mm. on a cheese board, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, uh -huh. We love it with goat cheese, like on a cracker, yes. something more mm -hmm. simple. Uh, there's a shop in Oakland, also a bagel shop, and she adds a drizzle of that, poppy bagels okay. as well. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Okay. I want to taste it, and I'm going to ask you a question before I take yes. my and okay. have you answer while I'm chewing. Um, so you said that you have it now a more permanent location right in the Ferry Building. Yes. Tell us about that yes. while I taste here. So you can find us um, at the Ferry Building, Farmer's Market, every Saturday uh, from 8 to 2, and also online. 
Yes, we are online, qualisalsa.com. And then at the very building, you get to try what we do is the salsa matcha, the chili oil, but mm. also our other more traditional fresh salsas, like mm -hmm. a roasted salsa verde. Salsa uh, verde. Salsa roja, um, mm. like curtidos. There's like more more of a variety there. Wonderful, you do it. Okay, I love it. I was saying, <laughs> you do it all, I love it. My mouth is like still trying to sense the flavors. So delicious, not too spicy. Not too right. spicy. But, um, mm -hmm. so is this the most spicy one? What spice level did I just taste? This the is medium. the most mild. Mm -hmm. Most mild, okay, most mild. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's too spicy, but there is a kick. There is a kick right. in it. So it's delicious. I think it's perfect on a sandwich, mm -hmm. and it's like in an aioli form. So good, perfect. 10 Thank out of 10, you. guys. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much.